Welcome to Gut Talk TV, a YouTube channel focused on closing the communication and knowledge gaps in gut health. Please see our disclaimer and press the subscribe button below. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Jake Bigan. And I'm Dr. Yoon An. We are gastroenterologists from Australia. Today we are going to talk about how to prepare for your capsule endoscopy. Capsule endoscopy is also known as pill chem. It is mainly used to pinpoint bleeding in a hidden areas in your small bowel that cannot be reached with gastroscopy or colonoscopy. It is more accurate than many other techniques. Capsule endoscopy finds a source of bleeding in about 60 to 70% of patients. It is also useful in finding tumors in small bowel and in some cases inflammatory bowel disease. The capsule is quite small and easily swallowed. It contains tiny camera, batteries, light source, and a transmitter. After being swallowed, the capsule travels like a piece of food through the gut. It takes high quality pictures of the stomach and small intestine, taking two pictures every second for up to 11 hours, giving about 60,000 pictures in total. Recording pads taped onto your belly tracks the progress of the capsule. The images taken by the capsule are transmitted to a recorder worn around your waist. The capsule has a gel coating which makes it easy to swallow. Less than 1 in 100 patients have difficulty swallowing the capsule. Abdominal pain or nausea after swallowing the capsule is extremely rare and should be reported immediately. Approximately 1 in 100 patients retain the capsule in the bowel. This may occur if the bowel is narrowed or has some unusual pathology or anatomy. Usually the capsule will eventually pass. On rare occasions, it will need to be removed endoscopically or surgically. The obstructing lesion can be corrected at the same time. If bowel narrowing is suspected, your doctor may suggest an initial trial with a dissolvable capsule called a patency capsule. On the day of the test, approximately 1 in 10 patients may have a slow small bowel transit and the capsule may not be seen to reach the large bowel on the recording. An abdominal x-ray will then be arranged to check that the capsule is passed out of the bowel. Patients wearing the harness and data recorder are advised to stay away from large radio transmitters, such as TV transmission towers, and are advised not to visit airports or major shopping centers where the harness could trigger security screening equipment. Few days before your procedure, stop taking any iron tablets and fiber supplements seven days prior to the procedure. Commence a low fiber diet three days before the procedure. If you generally have constipation, take over the counter medication called Movicol. You're going to take one sachet twice a day for two to five days prior to the procedure. Please mix, mix each sachet in 125 ml of water. Often, no bowel preparation is needed for capsule endoscopy, but if you have severe constipation or slow bowel transit, then your doctor may request you to take extra bowel preparation. You should fast, that is, have no food or drink for eight hours before undergoing a capsule endoscopy. Patients with diabetes should withhold their diabetic medication during the fasting period. If you take insulin, you should discuss what to do about this with your doctor. You may have a normal breakfast and early lunch before 12 p.m., but after midday, do not eat any other solid food. You can drink clear fluids, which include water, tea, or coffee without milk, yellow or orange colored sports drinks, or clear broth. Please drink about one to two liters of clear fluid the day before your procedure. You should be fasting from midnight, which means nothing to eat or drink. At 6 a.m., take your usual morning medication with a sip of water, unless instructed otherwise. Please wear a loose top and bring a jacket to a consultation room. You should aim to arrive at the doctor's consultation room by 7 a.m. A glass of water is permitted when swallowing the capsule, and a substance called semethicone is often added to this to prevent bubbles forming in the stomach, which can interfere with the picture transmitted by the capsule. Also, your doctor may advise you to take a medication called metoclopramide on the day, which promotes quick stomach emptying to make sure the capsule gets into the small intestine. On the day of the procedure, a harness holding the data recorder is worn for 12 hours after the capsule is swallowed. Gentle activity is encouraged while wearing the harness, as this will aid the progress of the capsule. You should check the recorder intermittently to ensure there is a blue flashing light blinking twice per second. If it stops blinking or changes color, note the time and contact the consultation rooms. Please do not touch or adjust the equipment during the day. 
No fluids should be taken for two hours after the capsule is swallowed, and solid food is not permitted to be eaten for four hours afterwards. Do not swallow chewing gum during the examination. 12 hours after the capsule is swallowed, you should remove the belt and the recorder as instructed and place it in a bag provided. After removing the belt, please do not bend the belt as it may damage the equipment permanently. You should return the equipment to the doctor's consultation room the following day. The information from the data recorder will be downloaded onto the computer and the images are composed into video to be examined by the doctor. The capsule is a single use only and do not need to be retrieved. The capsule passes naturally in a stool within one to three days. Most patients are not aware of it has been passed. The capsule does not need to be retrieved and can be safely flushed down the toilet. Hopefully you found this video useful in preparing for your capsule endoscopy. Bear in mind that these instructions are particular to our own practice and in your own practice it may vary slightly so check with your gastroenterologist to ensure that you are following the correct instructions. If you have any questions, please leave the comments below and thank you very much.